Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this video because this is my very first video with my new setup. So today's video is going to be on this look that I'm wearing right here. It is a very natural, glowy, kind of everyday look. Um, I just wanted to do something simple. Yeah, I've been wearing this look pretty much every single time I go out to go do something. It's really quick, really really easy to achieve. I did use the Carly Bible palette that I got in my BH Cosmetics, or not just BH Cosmetics, but in my eyeshadow palette haul. And yeah, so that is what this video is on today. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to start off with, of course, the face. I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blurring Plus Smoothing Primer. I'm sure you guys can tell my skin is having some issues. I do apologize, um, but whatever. We're just gonna, we're gonna surpass that. We're gonna bypass that. For foundation, I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 115 Ivory. When my skin starts freaking out on me, I kinda, I, I reel it back in and I go back to the basics. I go back to what I know. Maybelline Fit Me has never done me wrong. It hasn't made my skin any worse. Hasn't made it any better but hasn't made it any worse. We're gonna whiz through the face today because like I said, I'm having some issues and I don't really like focusing on the face when my skin's freaking out. For concealer, I'm going in with my NYX concealer wand in the shade Alabaster and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a liberal amount on because again, issues. We'll, we'll talk about it in a later video, I promise. We're just gonna blend that out and hopefully cover up some, some of these imperfections that I got going on. To set my face, I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 220. Like I said, I go back to the basics whenever my skin's freaking out. I'm gonna set it using the NYX 03 powder brush. I have been loving this brush to set my face. It's amazing. I'm going to set my under eyes and my forehead and my chin with my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. This is the Morphe M438 brush that I'm using to dust all of that on my face, yes. Then to contour slash bronze, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. This is the NYX 06 Fan Brush, and oh my gosh. Do you guys remember my NYX haul whenever I said I was gonna use this to contour? Well, it's doing its job. To blend all that out, I'm just using my Morphe E2 Giant Powder Brush, and it's just gonna blend those edges. For blush, I'm gonna be using my NYX HD Blush in the shade Hamptons, and I'm gonna dust that on my cheeks using a, you guessed it, the Morphe E4 brush. Favorite blush brush ever, yes. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be going in with my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I believe this is in the shade Alabaster or Porcelain. No, it's Alabaster. I'm going to prime my eyes with that. Guys, this is the best way I have found to prime my eyes for shadow. I'm gonna set that with the Banana Shade from the NYX Contour Kit. And then I'm going to pick up the ColourPop Press Shadow in the shade Issues, and with a Morphe R37 brush, I'm going to dust that all over my crease. I'm not gonna be really precise, I'm not keeping it too high or too low, I'm just kinda dusting it all over my lid because it's just a transition color. This is a really laid back, smoky eye today. It's very natural, very, you know, runway-esque, if, you know, if you wish. Then I'm going to pick up my Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics, and with this really pretty purpley taupe shade, I'm going to go in with my NYX number 16 crease brush. Now with this color, I am going to be very precise. I'm gonna dust that right over top of that transition, but I'm gonna try really hard to keep it low. I don't want this to go too high, because if you do, you can start to look like you have a black eye real quick. If you feel like the lines are a little too harsh, you can pick up that R37 and just blend out the outer corners because we really want this to be a soft, smoky eye. For my lid color, I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Amaze. I love this color. I'm using a Visante Synthetic Eyeshadow Number no. 2 brush. I got this brush in an Ipsy bag. I can't even remember when, but it is my favorite synthetic brush. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Carly Bible palette and with this really pretty plum shade, I'm gonna use that same NYX brush and just pack that on the outer corner. This is really gonna deepen that smoky eye. I'm going to blend out the edges and then I'm gonna repeat the same colors on my lid. 
on my lower lash line. So with a definer brush, this is the Morphe M432. I'm gonna pack that plum shade on my lower lash line. And then to smoke it out, I'll be using the Morphe M321 and that purpley taupe shade. Next, I'm going to tight line my eyes. This is just a CoverGirl eyeliner pen. I like tight lining my eyes before I go in with a winged liner because I feel like there's no gap between my lashes and my eyeliner. Sometimes if I don't tight line my eyes, there's a weird gap between my winged liner and my eyelashes and it just, it bugs me. It's a pet peeve, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just high maintenance, I don't know. For my liner, I'm gonna be using my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Jet Black. I think I've raved about this eyeliner before, but just let me, let me take a second. I love this eyeliner. I have never gotten an easier winged liner, and I've been trying to perfect the winged liner ever since I was like 15. This makes it so simple. I love it. It has a brush tip. It's just everything. For my lashes, I'm going to be using the NYX More to Love Love Lush Lashes Mascara. Whew, say that five times fast, I dare you. I'm going to put a generous amount on my lashes. This mascara does not make my lashes clumpy. I feel like I can put a pretty liberal amount on, and it does the job. For my highlight, I'll be going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. This is the shade Wisp. In all honesty, guys, I really probably shouldn't be highlighting because I do have some texture going on, but guys, it wouldn't be a tutorial for me if I didn't highlight. This is just it's how I do my face. I've embraced it. So I'm just going to dust that right over top of my blush and the tip of my nose. Then I'm going to do my brows. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I'm not going to go into detail about brows. They're just, they're not fun. So yeah, I'm doing my brows. Boom. Done. It's magic. Brows are done. For lipstick today, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade 235, Warm Me Up. It's a very natural looking lip color. Like honestly, it's the shade of your lips. It's just, it gives it a nice rosy looking color. I'm trying to go for a natural, pinky, glowy look. I wanted some gloss over top of that, so I'm going in with my NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Cookie Butter. This is my absolute favorite gloss at the moment. I love it. Then to set all of that into place, I'm going in with my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, and I'm just going to give myself a, a nice shower in that. And that completes this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.